Hi there. I know I've been a little quiet on tutorials lately. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Um, I'm trying out a new tutorial format, and uh, I want you to let me know how uh, how you like it. I'm using a fairly simple move for this, one I haven't covered yet. It's called a cat eye, otherwise known as a unit circle ellipse. And basically the way uh, this format is going to go is I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to... Uh, explain it, define it, and I have visual aid to help with that. And then I'm going to show it to you again, starting simple and getting a little bit more complex. <coughs> and um, so this is the cat eye, horizontal. Vertical. You can do it diagonal as well. Other diagonal. And then you can also do them on the uh, floor plane. As well as that way too. But uh, so what a cat eye is, it is classified as a second order motion, a unit circle motion. What the unit circle is, is the uh, unit circle is the smallest circle you can use for compound circle patterns. And it has a diameter that's the length of your hand, whereas with uh, flowers, the length of, or the uh, diameter of that is twice the length of your hand is shown here where I hit that center point every time, like with an anti-spin flower, whereas this one, it's on one side of the circle, wrists on one side, fingertips are on the other, so you never really cross that center point. And it looks like this. And these arrows denote direction of spin. And uh, notice that the cat eye itself is moved is a rotating the opposite direction of your wrist, meaning this is a unit circle anti-spin. And the here's what those different things are. The dot is a fixed point, meaning that it does not move. Uh, this the the center of your pattern always stays where it is. Um, it's sort of your axis, meaning if you were to do third order patterns, this is the point that gets moved uh, in a circle or other shape. And if you don't know what third order pattern is, don't worry about it. Because uh, if you're just now learning cat eyes, the third order patterns are um, kind of beyond you at the point. They're a lot more difficult. So, you know, no offense, just give it time. Um, the red circle is a static spin, meaning that it is just a circle that does not move. It's not straying in any direction or moving in a circle or anything. And this is your first order circle, meaning that it's, well, the first circle in the second order pattern. And this describes your wrist path. So basically, if I was not moving my hand, it's just showing my wrist going in a circle. And now the blue line, this is the actual cat eye, which is a second order motion, meaning that uh, your second order circle is a circle that is now being moved in a circle. <coughs> so you could think of um, that second circle having this uh, axis that's being moved along in that red circle. And uh, this is your fingertip path. And, um, what was I going to say? The, uh, notice how this is going one direction, this is going the other, so it's an anti spin. So that when my wrist is going this way, my hands go the other way. 
and it's one rotation of the fingertips for every rotation of the wrist, meaning this is a one-to-one -one anti spin. Uh, or you could just say it's one to negative one to denote opposite direction. And you can also flip that in any direction and that pattern works just fine. Even flipping it in that direction, it would just look like this. And notice that unless you have like a wrist light or something, um, this is just going to be the only trail they see. And now for a uh, demonstration of some other things you could do with that. I'll start with one. I also find that the horizontal version in and of itself looks really good for light shows uh, without doing anything special to it. Um, just taken straight up because it covers sort of the whole range of vision of the viewer. I will often do it like this. Whoops. So it kind of, you kind of break it up into four steps. And the way you can do that, I'll show you the horizontal one since it's the easiest and most useful when uh, you're not used to manipulating them and creating new things with these. Uh, so you can imagine you're starting here. So your wrist is up here, fingertips are down there. And let's see, no, that not that way. So I'm going to go opposite direction of uh, that visual. It's easier for me to do and talk at the same time. So you start here, your palm is facing back at you. And you go this way. And I just noticed my wrist kind of follows the circle on my shirt, so that's helpful. Um, when you're pointed all the way out here, your palm is going to be flat facing down. When you come this way, palm is facing forward. That way your palm is facing down again. And now your palm is facing back. So if you break it down in those four steps, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. You can speed it up, and you can also match it with an extension. And this sort of creates the whole eye, like the, the white of the eye is white, as well as the uh, iris. <coughs> and it makes it look like a full cat eye, especially when you do it this way. But if you're doing that in a light show, it's usually best to go farther back unless you have some other uh, illusion plan for that. And you can also do cat eye versus cat eye. So for this one, I just tend to th think about one hand and keep the hands in the split same <coughs> timing, split time same direction. Focus on one, kind of let the other fall into place. Just keep the wrist together and it makes kind of a big plus sign. And then also note one more thing, um, if you are doing uh, your cat eyes and opposites, make sure that your wrists and fingertips roughly line up, and then at the tips, your fingertips line up. That will help you clean it up a lot. So I'm running out of time here, um, I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have suggestions for others in the future, and let me know how you like this format, and if it helped a lot compared to the way I was doing things before, or just uh, other tutorials in general. So yeah, thank you for watching.